Hey guys, here we are. Um, today I'm going to show you how to upload your own font onto Canva. You can only do it on the pro version, just so you know. Um, but sometimes you just want to add your own fonts. You found one you might like and, um, just sometimes the fonts on Canva just don't quite cut it or, or even you've, you've found one that, that suits your, your style, your brand quite well. So, um, here we go. If you like my video, please subscribe, add some comments below if you want. And, um, here we go. We're going to dive straight in. We've just signed into Canva. We're going to show you how to upload your own font in Canva, a font that you have purchased, of course. So we're going to fly over to creative marketplace. Here we go. Creative marketplace. And uh, it's a great place where you can get photos, graphics, templates, web themes, all kinds of things, textures. And uh, we're going to fly up to the search bar up here and we're going to type in a vintage font. It says, do you want to search in the font section? Yes, please. Let's search in the vintage font in the section for vintage fonts. And there's plenty of fonts in here. You can choose from various prices, various bundles. I love my favorite bundle here. It's called Vintage Font Bundle. I've purchased this bundle myself. It's by Tobias Saul. Uh, we click on here. He's actually got a 50% off at the moment and you get a whole bunch of fonts. You can preview all of the fonts right here. That He's done a little um, mock-up for you to show you how you could use it in each of the different fonts. You can actually, if you scroll down, you can see it will give you a preview if you wanted to try it out and type in your own logo name sometimes. So I would type vintage. It shows me what vintage Pete will look like in all the different font styles. It's got seven more fonts, so you can preview some more pretty good actually i am quite liking this one the uh mirosa is quite nice i quite like berlon and old alfie's pretty cool i quite like that anyway there's a whole bunch of fonts in there um so finished purchase confirm county you can go through all the stages of buying through creative market and you'll get it downloaded onto straight onto your desktop so we're going to go back into canva and to start with, we're going to create a design just over here. And we're going to choose what kind of design we want to create. Um, we're going to go straight for Instagram post. Just going to hide that. For some reason, my phone hasn't appeared I think there's a little glitch here we go and we have arrived uh, we can go straight for a template so I'm going to click on this template here I'm going to ungroup this section so we can select them individually I'm going to delete this section and I'm going to add some text over here we're going to go over to text I'm going to add a header in here I'm going to make it slightly larger and as you can see, it tells you that the, the font it is up here. So this is where we click and we can find all of our free fonts in here. And then we have the option for, it shows us our uploaded fonts. I've previously uploaded some fonts. I just did a little test before I came on here. Uh, and it puts some right in there for you. Um, just a little note, you can only upload your own fonts when you're in the pro version. You can try and press the button, but it will direct you straight to the, the pro version. If you want to upload your fonts, it, it will soon let you know. But here you go. At the bottom here, it says upload font. And there we go. It takes you straight to the upload section. I'm going to move my head out of the way. I was going to move my head out of the way until I duplicated myself. But you can see two of me now, which is twice as nice uh, and here we go upload font it will take you to see I've already been uploading fonts you can see so I'm gonna go back into my font bundle I'm gonna go into my items and we're going to upload 
Mirosa. Wands. So we've got two different Mirosas, Mirosa Swash and Mirosa Standard. Um, it's good to have them both, different applications, different websites will like different things. Sometimes you have to upload them both. In this occasion, we'll only have to upload one. We're going to go for the open type font. I'll put a link below to um, explain the two different types of fonts for you. So we're going to click on the open type one and we're going to open that. It says, please confirm the following. By uploading my own custom font, I acknowledge that I own Mirosa regular. Dot OTF. Uh, you don't necessarily own the font, but you do have the right to use it because you have purchased it from a legitimate website, and that's okay. So it's okay to upload. Two of me, two of me, make, 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 three of you, three of you. Uh, every time I try and move that, it just. Oh, there he goes. We can make you go. It's too many of you. It's way too many. And here is Mirosa down the bottom here, little Mirosa. Okay, so we're going to go back to our design. We're going to refresh the page. We're going to click on the text and we're going to fly over to our font tab here and uh, just scroll down and uploaded fonts right here. Look. So these ones I uploaded before, also very nice vintage fonts. Mirosa, we're going to click on that. And here it is, Mirosa. I'm going to change that to I reckon I'm going to change that to a nice font. I just love the very subtle detail. It's not too over the top. Uh, we're going to swap these over, and I quite like that saying there, and I quite like that font. If I can select it, double click inside. I'm going to delete the beginnings because I'm going to have vintage forever. That's me. We're going to follow that. See that little line? It comes up with a little purple line that says you've centered it. There you go, vintage forever. We're going to pull this little element up here just to separate. So the gap between there and there is roughly the same, just so it balances out a little bit. Vintage forever. We're going to drop this inside so that pulls us here so we can see it without being behind my head. There you go. That is exactly how to upload your own font. Uh, because Canva does have some beautiful fonts and they are there's many for free, but sometimes you just want to get your own font. You've seen one you like, maybe on Pinterest, and you want to go and get it yourself. Um, so thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like uh, if you like the video, press like. If you want to uh, see more videos, please press subscribe. Press the little bell. You'll get a little notification every time I make a video. I'm doing more Canva videos, more editorial videos. Um, just come and check it out. That sounds so